Alright, well, in this timeline, Otai and Iris are still alive. We managed to save them. And, well, with that, we have our golden opportunity to ask them about what happened, so that's good. We shall definitely do that. Has CSI found anything at the warehouse? Yeah, I doubt that. It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Cause besides Kagami, who I have 100% trust in, and I'm sure he's capable of. As much as I, as much as I like him, I think that the rest of the CSI won't find anything. I mean, when are they gonna find anything? Date, Iba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. You two might be able to find some useful clues. Yeah, truly. I mean, that is one of the things that we're definitely gonna do. I want to hear from the representative of Okiwara Fishery. They're giving statements at HQ right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. She's part of the Okiura family too. Oh, speaking of. Hey boss, did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? Yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. She took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. So Mizuki's at home. Oh, okay. You know, for a couple of seconds, you know, for a couple of seconds, I was thinking of the caretaker. Someone, someone that they should call to, you know, as a counselor for Mizuki because of that whole incident with I with Iris and Ota being dead and all that and her being silent again but no that is a completely different timeline this is <laughs> this is talking about how uh, Date basically abandoned Mizuki at uh, the marble and well now we are alone once more and Mizuki is definitely going to be angry at Date that's for sure she definitely is angry and I'm fairly certain she's furious with you yeah after leaving her alone with mama I mean uh about so so, Sejima? He was in Iris' Somnium yesterday. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. Yeah, I guess so. What about H Hitomi and Mayumi? Of course. Hitomi is at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital stay. Date, last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. Perhaps she knows something. Yeah, she might. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. Alright. A lot of things that we should investigate. Alright, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. There is definitely a structure to this adventure, that's for sure. We investigate a couple of places, then do something really, really important, slash sync with somebody, and then we go ahead and investigate some more places. Let's go, Iva. Roger that. A cycle of death, that's for sure. Alright, yeah. We can investigate the cold storage warehouse, Matsushita Diner, Central Hospital, Date Residence. You know, before going to the hospital, let's uh, let's go ahead and talk to Mizuki and see what she's doing. Maybe pack some things from our fridge slash things for our Sinota to feel better at the hospital, maybe. And meanwhile, we can talk to Mizuki. Date Residence, Monday. Hey Mizuki, could you take a break? I want to ask you something. Yeah, I think we caught her <laughs> at the wrongest time in the world. I mean, she is she is lifting right now, and at the same time she is furious at you. Just saying, maybe you should prepare yourself to jump out the window, Date, at some point, a la Cinderella style. Um, you are mad at me, aren't you? You have all the reasons in the world to be mad at that team. Eh? 
you know, it's like... I like Date, you know? And he is a perverted goof and all that. And despite that, I, I still like him. He is... <laughs> He is definitely something, and he does show at times that he cares about the people around him. It's just that it makes me feel like either at some times he is being an idiot about it, or he goes at it the wrong way about caring about the people around him slash protecting them. I mean, you can definitely understand that you don't want to Mizuki to be with you on the investigation the entire time. Because she would be put in danger and all that. But trust me when I say that Mizuki would be a lot safer with us because not only do we have our eyes on her, but the serial killer can definitely kidnap her or do something bad to her because that's how things are going in this adventure. It's everything, like everything bad that is happening is happening off screen oh, while Data is not looking. Uh, she is definitely not going to say anything about the fishery. <sighs> Alright, Dante. It is time for you to apologize. Come on. Listen, I get it. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang. The Kumakuras. Remember Mama said Renju had some connection with them? So I went to question them. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? I'm not afraid of any Yakuza's. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three seconds. Girls shouldn't talk like that. Date, again, with that, uh, I think that what Date is trying to say is that you think that, Mizuki, but you never know what can happen in these kinds of situations, especially around Yakuza, of all people. He thinks that even if you are capable of defending yourself and all that, there's always a risk of getting yourself in danger slash you know, worst case scenario <laughs> that's awfully sexist of you yeah that's that's definitely a sexist of that and that's for sure this is why no one thinks you're attractive I'm attractive uh-huh keep telling yourself that that's why you haven't had a girlfriend in four years my girlfriend is a ninja no, she's just hiding in the shadows. Eh. Sure. So what do you want to ask me anyway? Okay, um... Where's the officer who dropped you off? Where's the officer who dropped you off? I told her to go home. I said I would call her to check in. Okay. Why are you disappointed? Did you want to meet her? That's not like that. You wanted to see her boobs? I mean... That is one thing, but I think that Dante was referring to something else. I thought you were more into small boobs, pervert. I like big boobs too. Okay, let's not go there again, Mizuki. I suppose you are what they call a tit man. Alright. About Okiara Fishery. Okiara Fishery is a company Grandpa made. I don't think Daddy had anything to do with it, though. Grandpa died 17 years ago. Someone else is running that company now. They aren't family. What kind of person was your grandpa, by the way? I never met him. He died before I was born. But Daddy did tell me stories. What kind of stories? Back when Grandpa was in Great Grandma's tummy, she was on a passenger ship that got shipwrecked in a storm. She had to have the baby out on the ocean. On the ocean? Yep. And then, Grandpa was raised by dolphins. Whoa. Huh? By the time he was ten, he was catching fish with his bare hands. That sounds awesome. And then, Grandpa got up on land and learned language and culture and stuff. And then he decided to start up Okiura Fishery.
Sounds like a tall tale. Yeah, Grandpa was a legend. All the fishermen and sailors respected him. That can be true. But there's a part of me that's thinking maybe. Not baby. Definitely a possibility. After all, Mizuki herself seems superhuman. I believe her grandpa was an incredible man. Yeah, and now you're acknowledging it. <laughs> what with her lifting up, like, weights like that, like 25 ki uh, kilograms. Sheesh. Like, two sets. So that will be 50 kilograms, I think, unless that is part of one, like, one weight. It's not two, maybe. I don't know. About Ota and Iris. I saw the video. The one at 3 a.m. last night. What? Ota is amazing. I'm changing my mind about that guy. Wait, how did you know about that video? Ota's out of intensive care. Iris is still... Was it made public? Are you freaking kidding me? But I know she'll be okay. Iris's surgery will definitely be a success. You stay positive, even if there's no reason to be. It's one of your good qualities, Date. What? I believe it. Iris is going to be just fine. Oh, she has to. Otherwise... Alright, well, it was nice talking to you, Mizuki. Thanks for talking with me, Mizuki. It was helpful. Was it? I have to continue the investigation, so... I'd say that it was. Wait, you're leaving me again? All right, Date. Let's let's get her with us. I'm coming with you. No. Why? Yeah. I can't involve you. This might be dangerous. <laughs> she is a lot. It's a lot more dangerous for her to be left alone. It's okay. I'm strong. You know how strong I am, right? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. People can surprise you. goddammit. it. You were the one who knew how special I was before anyone. Uh, I don't know. It was one year ago. I noticed something strange when Mizuki came home from school. Hey, what happened? Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. They said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. And they teased me. Jesus. And I got mad and I told them to go away and they hit me. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. Date, wait. Adult intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this problem herself. Huh. <sighs> Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. What? I'm gonna teach you how to kick their asses. We're starting right now. Get ready. Okay, well that's lovely. Why the shrine? The shrine is the perfect place for special training. It is the perfect place to learn the ways of the warrior, of the samurai. It is? You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like this. Sure, whatever. First, I am going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. Follow these four rules. And you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. Oh. Date, are you playing a character or something? Maybe, but it doesn't matter. I'm not Date. While we're in training, I am Master. Alrighty then. Number one. The key to victory is to kill the heart. Like, when you get into a fight, aim for the heart? No, it's the opposite. You must kill your own heart, Mizuki. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress any mercy or emotional attachment. If you have even a mote of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target, a punching bag or a board. Just a punching bag. Huh. You know, these lessons are going to be great for one day when Mizuki has to kick Date's ass. <laughs> Number two. 
being quick to act is crucial. Mizuki, do you know how to win any fight against any opponent? Um, don't get in a fight in the first place? That is a respectable answer. But no, the way to win any fight is this. Hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. I kind of get it, but... Of course, I'm not saying that's how you should behave. But thinking about this will make a big difference in a real fight. Yeah, okay, I get it, but... Seriously, Date, are you, like, acting or something? Do not question Date's philosophies. <laughs> not Date, master. Uh, right, do not question your master's philosophies. Now, lesson number three. Your everyday life is of dire importance. What? Why? The best training you could ever have is to be mindful during your everyday life. Diet and exercise form a strong body. And if you are always maturing intellectually and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. I get it. But you're so messy! Does that mean you can't fight? Hark, the blowing of the wind through the trees. You can't just say something cool to avoid my question. Lesson number four. Mental preparation is important. In a fight, you must first be victorious in your mind. Like thinking I'm not gonna lose? Exactly. I do the same mental preparation before going to a strip club. Before I go in, if I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. The mental fight has begun the moment I put my hand on the door. Yeah, I see. Actually, no. That's stupid. Anyway, practice these four truths, and you will get stronger. This sounds like a scam. Believe in me. Yes, believe in Master. Believe in the Master that believes in you. If you do as I say, you'll be thanking me in time. Are you sure? And how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Huh? How? Uh, let's see. How about you throw a punch? I can guess your strength from that. If you say so, I'll give it a shot. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. Then, punch forward. Hey! Ah, jeez! Huh? How is that? Okay, I think that we are hitting the record for the best time of an apprentice becoming the master, like day one. Um... You don't have to be nice. I know I'm weak. Yeah, I'm... Well, yeah, you definitely cannot move mountains, that's for sure, but you know, with training... Hey, by the way, did you swing back at those bullies? No, I didn't do anything. Well, that's the problem. You just see, you just swing once and then boom, you're done. There were a bunch of them. I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. I suppose not. Mizuki, let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Yeah, I think that that's... <laughs> That's basically the gist of it. I don't think that we need this training to be like to begin with. Really? But never ever strike your master. That is a must. Yeah, just creating yourself a safe net for the future, Dati. Yeah, you're right. In fact, you're so strong you scare me sometimes. Well then? No, I can't take you with me. Why not? Because I took responsibility for you. I promised Renju. I can't put you in danger. 
not to mention that, okay, I did say that it would be a lot safer for Mizuki to be with us instead of being alone at home for uh, the killer to kidnap her, but nonetheless, even if you are the strongest person in the world, I'm not talking about Mizuki, but I'm talking about any person in general, no matter how strong they are, there are always going to be situations when they're going to get they're going to get attacked from behind or in moments that they don't expect, and that will be the game. That will be game over. You you just you just never know. That's why Dot is so adamant on trying to keep you safe and all that, even though she should be with us. That's not fair. Bring you, Daddy. Iris and Ota feel the same way. They don't want you hurt either. You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know when the time comes. Really? Yes. <sighs> okay, so I guess in the end we're we're still going with with this approach that she should stay behind and keep herself safe. In which case, we're definitely gonna have to try and think about the. We're definitely gonna have to try and think of a way to keep her safe from the killer, no matter what. Her being so strong like this is not enough. She needs to be smart as well. Promise? I promise. Let's go, Iva. Where to? Uh, I don't know. Alright, well. I guess we shall go. Let's go to Central Hospital. We need to talk to Otan Iris. We can talk to Ota. Central Hospital. Monday. Oh, he told me. Are you okay? Tate. The nurse told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris's surgery was successful. They told me she would be fine. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders and I just collapsed. Yeah, I can imagine. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Yeah, the nurse told me. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. How about Iris? She... Iris lost her left eye. They haven't found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. <sighs> but I'm thankful she's alive. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. While I was waiting for news from Iris' surgery, I... I started thinking about Monica. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. That's her key to me. Once more. That must have been very painful. Yeah, sure was. Yes. Alright. About Ota. I am so thankful for Ota. No. Words don't even do it justice. Ota saved Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. If Ota didn't go to the warehouse that night, Iris would be dead. Yeah, I do have to admit. I mean, he stalled for time long enough for us to arrive at the warehouse to begin with. If it wasn't for him, then Iris would have been dead no matter what. No matter what. I really don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. Oda was actually one of my students. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Not that I'm one to say, but I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. He risked his own life to save someone else. His mother must have raised him well. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's talk about the investigation here a little bit. I don't want you to get the wrong idea, but... Can you tell us what you were doing at night? Hitomi, what were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. Truly. I was sleeping at home. Okay. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about all this. Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. Okay, well, that's good. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 20 to 25 minutes by car. I mean, okay, I definitely do not see Hitomi being the being a killer, especially trying to kill Iris out of all people, her daughter. There isn't really any proof or motive for why she would do this out of all things, but eh, I guess so. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? So that will be, what? 340 when she would arrive at home if we are thinking about that possibility even though i'm having my doubts correct if you're fast you can just make it do you suspect to tell me not necessarily but it's just something to take into account to just put in our in our mind bank of some sorts in case we ever need that information do you know anything about iris and so So, Sejima, the politician? Yes. Yes. We believe they might know each other. And we definitely want to ask you if you have any connections to So, to so Sejima. I don't think so. I guess not. Alright, well, I guess so. Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. I guess so. She looks exhausted. A window. Hmm. Sink. Wait, what? That's a sink? Ah, okay, there you go. <laughs> I was about to say, that, that is a weird looking sink, that's for sure, but that's actually the mirror. And it mirrors... I guess the curtains? Why is it all green? Eh? Oh god, unless it's the green jelly from that one something that we had with Falco. Ugh, I couldn't use as a divider. Pardon me? <laughs> he me? When Iris was little, we used to play hide and seek. Seeing that curtain made me think about it. <laughs> the curtain. Right. I guess so. Alright, well, I guess this means that we're not going to be able to talk to Iris or Ota, like, right, right now. I guess after we investigate these places, we're going to be able to, we're going to be able to talk to them, so. Let's go to Matsushita Diner and see what Miami is doing. Because something definitely happened between Iris and uh, Mayumi on the live video before Iris and Ota ran away. It could be that Iris told Mayumi something. Hey! Um, who might you be? Look at you smile here, Mayumi. You must be feeling pretty great. Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. I mean,. Besides uh, your son being at the hospital to begin with, but he, he's definitely safe, Miami, that's for sure, so. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? Yeah, we definitely have some questions for you, Miss Mayumi. Lucky cat. Meow. No meowing? Oh, come on, Date. It is like, um... 
it is obligatory, it is mandatory for you to to meow when you see a lucky cat. Counter, table, autographs. I can see some of them written by Kodaka, by Uchikoshi. Condiments are placed on the table, kitchen. Alright. So. Are you done packing? Packing? What are you talking about? I don't know. I've, I, I've heard that uh, you were. They went home to bring something to Ota back at the hospital, right? I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Yeah. Ota? At the hospital? Eh? My boy's fine. You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Uh oh. Alright, you know what? It has been a while since we've read some of this stuff, mainly because we have been so busy with everything that happened, with all these important things that are <laughs> that keep happening to us. But now we are we are taking a bit of a break from that, I guess, by investigating these places. So I guess this gives us the perfect time to check a bunch of this stuff, like the Volver. Exciting Voltaic Versatile Handgun. Got this weapon. Can fire a number of different kinds of bullets, such as explosive, flame, spherical, and wire rounds using electromagnetic force. Peter invented it at a request of Iba and Dante. Yeah, we totally... <laughs> You know, we, we totally seen the arsenal of uh, bullets, like the kind of bullets that Date has on him, so I am curious about the rest of the bullets that we haven't seen. KE Association, Kumakura Estates, the name Mama gives to the real estate companies in the Kumakura umbrella. Mm -hmm. Alright, well let me see about some stuff that may end up being important. X-ray mode. A future of Iba is similar to fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy. Fl fluoroscope. <laughs> the Earth is constantly inundated with cosmic rays from space. Cosmic rays contain X-rays, and Iba is able to detect these X-rays that have passed through objects and see them. Because it works along the same logic as an X-ray machine, you unfortunately cannot use it to see panties. How unfortunate for Date. But you know. <laughs> I guess this means that uh, that Iba is the one that is activating the X-ray mode. <laughs> Does that mean that like this isn't that only Date is deciding to do on his free will when whenever he is checking the bone structures of girls, such as the mermaid? Uh, Date is ordering Iba to do this <laughs> in similar fashion to the Somniums, isn't it? Okay, well that's a, that's an interesting thought, but. Okay, continue on with the investigation. I think that Miomi is in denial right now. She is in, in she is in a denial state right now. Mm, I mean, that's my fault, but let's see. About last night. Last night? What time? Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. You were sleeping? That can't be. Ota. You left the diner to chase after Ota and Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Left eye? Not both your eyes? It's a... It's a figure of speech. Uh, well... Anyway. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. Either she thinks that she dreamt all this, that or she's completely denying it. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Or that counts as both, if I'm to think about it. Dreaming? Dreaming. Yes. A very nostalgic dream. What kind of dream? It was when my son had just started elementary school. I had Oda run an errand for me. And he was 
taking so long, and I was waiting. My husband said it was nothing to worry about, but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. I see. I was thinking for a second that maybe the crossing signal was stuck on red, but no, it's one of those that you have to push, otherwise it stays red. <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. So stubborn. So stupidly honest. Ah, that's my Oda. He was so cute. I couldn't help it. <laughs> How that photo do you have there? Oh, this? As Miyuki spoke, she turned the photo toward me. This is a family photo from when Ota was still small. Is that your husband? I wanted to look at it again. I'm a horrible mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Ota. Huh. Well. I think I'm starting to see it more and more. This world definitely has the Danganronpa syndrome of some people looking like cartoons. They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. But they were always smiling. They were so kind. I remember a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. So they gave me this apron and a kitchen knife. Oh, I was so happy. I was crying and smiling, and that's what this photo is from. It's kind of embarrassing, but isn't it such a nice photo? Yeah, it is a lovely photo. Yes, that's very nice, Mayumi. But, alright. Where's your husband? Oh, who knows? If... If we are low to ask, that is. Date, I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. His name is Matsushita Takaro. He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. What? What is going on here? Date, I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? All right, well, let's... I guess so, let's check her brain. I, Do you see it? I guess she has some sort of condition. That's why she's acting so... <clears throat> different, isn't she? Part of her brain is blue. Or... Oh. I think I can see it. She has one of those conditions where she forgets things, doesn't she? That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Which means... Mayumi has an illness. I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Dementia? Dementia. Symptoms vary considerably, but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. <laughs> yeah, memory loss. That's why she, she's thinking that her husband is still alive. That he is gone somewhere to work on something, but in actuality, he has been dead for so many years. Same can be said about Ota. She doesn't remember what happened last night, so she is thinking that he just, he just, he's just doing his own thing, whatever it is. She seems to be missing memories. I see. So that's where those weird comments are coming from. Yeah. All right, Mayumi. I think that we need to talk she about something. A diner like that. No, I don't think that she can. I mean, I mean, if we are talking about taking orders and making the orders for people, maybe she has a long enough memory for that, but anything longer than just taking an order and such, I don't think so. I don't know. It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Oh. 
Matsushita Diner is near the Kabasaki district. It is not technically within the restricted area. However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. The customers stopped coming, and then, naturally, Oh, don't tell me that she's still thinking that the diner is still open after all this. Does Naomi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Uh, because of the dementia? Yes. I can't believe it. All right, well. Well, is that all? Um... So, what do you think, Dante? What should we do right now? I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. Naomi stood and went to the kitchen. Dante, let's go. It's better that you leave things be. You're right. Yeah. I guess so. Naomi is in the kitchen. It looks like she's cutting vegetables or something. I mean, did that say... I mean, it does say that our lady, her memory has begun to get spotty, I did, but... I didn't think that it would be that badly. Uh, I mean, I was thinking that her memory has begun to get spotty in a normal old lady way of some sorts, I don't know, just... Because you know that with with age, people tend to have their memory get worse and worse, you know. You know how it is, but... For the Mariumi, it is considerably worse at this point. Takero. Takero Matsushita. Mail, 55, February 15. Honor of Matsushita Diner. Mayumi Ota Matsushita Diner. Customers who don't finish their food. Fishing, shoggy, backflips, throwing, nice. Yeah, he definitely seems to be the guy that would be capable of black wolf backflips. Takeru is an ardent student of cooking and very particular about the ingredients he uses. Therefore, his diner attracted many customers but did not make a significant profit. Helping Mayumi was his first priority, decreasing his focus on the diner. Mm. Uh, I guess so. Alright, well, I guess it's time to go. Let's investigate the cold storage warehouse and see if we can find anything. I mean, we haven't found Zilch in the other timeline. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find anything in this, no. But who knows? Hmm. Two cars. These cars have been parked here since before three seventeen a.m. Yeah. Now that you mention it. We've seen these cars at the entrance. What are these cars? Whose cars are these? One van and one station wagon. We can assume that one is for one is Ota's, but what about the other one? It could be the killers. All right, policeman. I asked him about the investigation, but there's been no progress. Of course, there will be no progress. Police officer. Who owns the van? 